Hello everyone, great to see you again. I've added three new effects to the beacon, which unfortunately means that we have 62 command blocks in this entire system, and due to the 63 command block limit, we have to end it here, but I'm going to run you through the new features. So as usual, you place an armor stand here and then your items on top to make it whatever you want. So this one is kind of an anti-grief system, so you throw your water bucket there and you get these nice little lava pa particles happening everywhere. So first off, no fire is allowed near the region. I think it's a 16 block radius. No TNT either. And you can see it disappears before it even gets a chance to even hit the ground. And also lava is not allowed in the world either. Unfortunately though, this is not preventable, but there can be a little bit of a bug where it sticks around. Uh, but it's not as destructive as it was before. The next one, probably my favourite, very expensive, 20 coal blocks, but it will keep the furnace powered below it powered permanently, so if we grab some iron ore, this will be smelted, I, I don't want to say for free, because it is quite expensive to get all the materials for a beacon and all that things, but there you go, it's powered indefinitely, and as soon as you change it, it's going to stop being powered, so let's change this to the, to the newest system and as you can see it stops getting powered. But this one here is quite interesting and it can help you a lot with farming. So bone meal instantly gets, or well, bones get instantly turned into bone meal. Now this isn't as efficient as actually crafting because you get one bone meal by doing it this way, but if you use the crafting grid you'll get three bone meal. So this is actually useful for your auto farms. Usually you have to manually turn things into bone meal, but now that you, you can have this system here, when skeletons die they can get converted into bone meal and the bone meal can get challenge, challenged, let me start again, it can get ch channeled into a hopper and your automatic farm there. Same with blazers and blaze powder with your potions and also you don't have to manually fill up potions anymore. Uh, so let's go explain this now, um, I've explained all these functions, let's start with the furnace. I'm literally just changing the block data for the, t I'm changing the burn time to 20. Uh, for the, for the anti-grief system, I'm killing nearby primed TNT. I am setting, I'm doing a fill command to replace flowing lava with air. And I am also doing that same fill command to replace fire with air. And for this section here, I'm using the beacon item score for the items and I'm giving them a score and detecting them. And then I'm running a basic entity data command to change the entity data of that specific item. And that's all I have for this entire command. I am going to release it very soon. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.